hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well i am back with another video today is another sit down rant video because i'll be telling you all about my first week as a pre-registration pharmacist what the experience was like and just share with you what i got on to do in the first week of pre-reg because you know it's a whole one year so i thought it would be nice to do little snippets of videos like this like one week four weeks you know as time goes on see how i have time to be shooting videos like this but yeah that is what we'll be talking about the big gist of the whole first week as a pre-registration pharmacist so if you are new here my name is esther i'm a current pre-registration pharmacist at the community pharmacy and i do like study related videos motivation productivity soft content so welcome to another video if you are new do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and switch on the notification bell so you can always get notified whenever I upload a new video. Guys, I need a drink for this video, trust me. It's, it's so juicy, like I need to literally tell you my first week experience and i was like wow it's it's pretty good but there's a lot of interesting thing i thought i'll just share with you so that for new people coming into pre-reg you just sort of have an idea what pre-reg is and what the first week is like what you should expect in your first week and things like that so i've got my smoothie here um as you can tell i'm well dressed so which tells you that i've just got back from work so I thought, let me just quickly sneak in a quick video while I'm dressed and with all makeup on um, to actually do this content. So first drink. So for those that are new, you might have noticed that we mentioned a lot of pre-reg, pre-reg, pre-reg. So in UK, all pharmacy students are entire uh, obligated to do pre-registration year after their uh, master's degree and this pre-registration year can be done in different settings in hospital settings, community settings such as like your neighborhood um, chemist and it can be done in a GP surgery and some can be done in an industry as well so I'm doing mine in a community pharmacy which is a local one and I really really like it because I just love to see my patients I really like it's a joy to go to work every day and I love the opportunity to have a long term um, long term input into the care of my patients so like you know what I mean so that's why I am doing community so pre is something that we have to do for a whole year after our master's degree and at the end of that one year you have to sit a um, you have to sit an exam called the general pharmaceutical exam and then you have to pass that and after passing that that is when you can get registered and qualified to practice on your own during the pre-reg you are obviously you know practicing under a qualified pharmacist so that's an opportunity to actually learn on the job if you think about it, in other sort of careers it can be also be like an internship so that's what it is where you work under someone that is qualified and then you just gain the experience and learn under them and that helps you to build your confidence to practice as a professional after one year so that's it about pre -reg. so I started my pre-reg precisely 2nd of August this year and I tried to think okay maybe I'm gonna shoot like a whole week in my life video <laughs> video but of course that didn't go <laughs> that didn't work but I was able to shoot my first day and my first day was the induction day which was like a training day where we had a typical 9 to 5 but it was done virtually I will put some snippets somewhere here for you to actually see what, what I got on to do um, during that day it was a full day of training literally from 9 to 5 yes it was imagine looking at the screen <laughs> for nine to five you had like welcome to the family and the community place i'm working is like a family owned business but they've made it so much that they have branches almost everywhere in uk so it's really nice to actually see, um learn about the background of the pharmacy and how their, their values their policy and things like that. and i love one thing about my place is the family value which is one thing i love when i work somewhere i love the ability of good teamwork 
work been able to be at work and not feel like you're at work it just feels like you're working with your family you're at home with your friends and family so that is something I really really love about this place which is why I chose to work here so that's what happened on the first day it was a full day trust me guys a lot of information because this pre-registration here we had to um actually kind of meet like 55 learning house camps at a certain some uh, for seven at dust level i don't know if you guys know what they call the miller's triangle i'll put that here the miller's triangle is this thing that we follow in the pharmacy school it's like a portfolio kind of thing or cp the kind of professional development kind of thing where you meet certain you get to certain level and when you get to that level that's when you can say that you are professional you're competent in that in that area so for example maybe it's about a um, consultation with patients and showing empathy with patients so you have to keep doing it having um, practice speaking to patient and then you keep you need to keep writing your experience reflecting on it until you get to a certain level of competency um, at university we have to get to a shows our level of showing how we do things but now in the pre-reg thing we have to get majority of our learning house comes we have to be on the doors level where i can do this without anyone sitting next to me i can manage this patient with no one being here i can deal with every situation that's all thing so that is what we had to do and it was a lot of telling us how to meet this learning house come how to gather the evidence it is a lot trust me and then when you feel like oh you don't with uni <laughs> trust me period is waiting for you because that and the worst part of period is that you're actually working typical nine to six at least every day you sort of have one one day a week which is five hours study where you do half days but literally that day from my first week experience like i just used it to run errands because as you can tell i just moved back home so i had to make sure that i'm registered with the gp i had to make sure that everything um, is done at the right time so that i'm actually set up because i'm not settled yet i'm still like you know finding things around and making sure that i am very very settled here um in my parents place so that is what it is and it's i'm telling you guys the first week aside from the first day it was really good i enjoyed the fact that I speak to my patient, I think my pharmacist, which is my designated supervisor, designated supervisor, she said she wanted me to use this all one month to focus on the OTC. And when I mean OTC, I mean about the counter medication, so I can be confident when patients come in with their queries that oh, they've got a swollen leg, what can I use? I've got this headache, what can I use? I've got this rash, you know that sort of thing. They can easily recommend something for them to buy over the counter instead of them, of them having to go and see their GP and that's just wasting time so it's just kind of cutting time and just open the GP to see some of the minor ailments before they come to them so it was really nice um, my first week I had really really nice conversation with my patients and I like the fact that they really accepted me that I'm learning so they are willing to talk to me they are willing to let me actually learn through them even though sometimes um, I might not be able to recommend the right thing I might just say I'm coming let me just ask my pharmacist to be sure that I'm recommending the right thing something along those lines but it's been really really good and also working with people like no one actually prepared you for the fact that you might be leading someday and some people would have to work on that you have to manage people this is part of the things we're learning through the pre-registration here as well I have to learn how to make sure that I don't take things too hard because it is a workplace people will upset you should not take things too hard because work has to continue to keep on going and you need to be professional with uh, on him out uh, in dealing with things because if not you just not talk to anybody at work because they upset you but you just have to like just brush it up and as just be as if nothing happened and move on before you know it you all forget about it whatever has happened but that, that has really taught me how to be a good leader when i'm dealing with my co-workers and things like that it's been really really good um, in terms of the studying part mm -hmm. another drink <laughs> in terms of the studying part guys I've hardly done anything. I just can't bring myself to sit down after work to actually pick up a book and hit and actually read or study anything because by the time I'm back home, latest by seven, maybe undress, getting undressed, having a shower, seven o'clock, 
i'll be ready and then before you have dinner it takes me at least an hour to have dinner because i'm so slow with eating and like to take my time and for me i don't know if anyone else is like me after food is sleep i just feel so tired and sleepy even though i take coffee it doesn't work on me anymore i just go to sleep because i'm tired so i've not been able to actually um pick up the books and actually study because we actually need to study because we have an exam however one thing i have learned through is that i was trying to be hard on myself i was feeling bad i was feeling sorry for myself oh my god i'm so behind i haven't done anything and my pharmacist had to come to me and say darling don't pressure yourself the whole first month of pre-reg is actually you getting used to having to wake up early working nine to six every day monday to friday it's not easy she said even me as a pharmacist i don't do that i make sure i have one day off a week in between so i can have a bit of a breather before i come back to work that just that one month i'm telling you hardly even pick any book to read you just try your best like okay oh i have maybe on the job learn as like spend your time to learn as much as possible on the job that would be the only thing you can do during your first month but if you're trying to be like oh my god i need to study and things like it's just like it might not be possible for some people they might be able to do it but if you have, if you can't do it don't put too much pressure or stress on yourself she was so nice to me and she did, the advice she gave me i just was like i cannot come and kill myself hmm? i cannot come and kill myself i've tried my best i'm going to work every day and i'm learning so much at work if that is all i can learn that day that is good on weekends if i'm once i'm settled if i'm able to do anything on weekends then i can fit in some studying on weekends that time anything is gonna happen during the week i will stress myself if it happens good if it cannot happen no problem at all i just know that i have my weekends to catch up on what i need to study and i will not put pressure on myself like you know i need to learn this 1000 slice of no 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 i might just decide to say okay i just want to learn one drug this weekend no it did like know a lot about it no de de details much more details about that one drug that is a lot of information to learn already and i just like actually pay attention to details for and take things slowly one at a time so that is what um it's been like but so far so good i'm enjoying it i am loving it it's really nice the best part of my work is having to speak to my patients that is literally what wakes me up every morning and i'm so thankful that i work in a busy pharmacy so that that is literally there's hardly not anything to do because you have to work like there's actually things to do and also i had the experience of actually dispensing so i dispense mostly during the day and then in between when the patient comes in for queries i attend to their queries in the middle of dispensing and then ask my pharmacist for advice to see if i've done well what can i do better how can i improve and then she would sort of teach me more okay what is this what is that what would you give for conjunctivitis or would you give for someone that's taking blood pressure would you give them any medication over the counter for cold and flu and i'm like no you know that's sort of thing um so yeah it's been really good i'm happy um i'm grateful for where i am today and i think if i had i don't the chance i don't think i would do it the other way so i'm just taking things slowly as time goes on so hopefully after one month i'll be able to come back and explain to you what i have learned over the space of one month but over the space of one week i have learned a lot and i'm still learning and i'm i am just so thankful i'm so open-minded and yes yeah, so that's literally how my first week i've i've been like it's been really good and this is just to say for new pre-regis new status like don't put pressure on yourself take things as it comes if you can't do something don't beat yourself about it it's better to learn in the, in your own pace than brush things that's not productive at all so i've been having a good productive day in as much as i'm happy at the end of the day i've done this i've done that i might not be able to study not be, by not studying does not mean i'm not productive at least i'm doing all the things you know so that's literally how my first week of pre reg have been thank you so much for watching guys if you like this kind of video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to switch on the notification bell so you can always get notified whenever i upload a new video i know i'm trying my best to upload once a week but this past week of pre-reg has just like ooh. so 
now i know how to manage my time so you'll be seeing videos every week with on me because i've shot a lot and i can't wait to share them with you so thank you so much guys and i'll see you all in my next video have a good evening bye